hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here then welcome and if you're one of my old subscribers coming back to watch me again then thank you so much in today's video i'm doing something a little bit different i'm going to be testing out products from actilab actilab is a brand of a range of luxury spa products now the reason i've got into this is because i've paired up with my friend katie who's just become an ambassador for actilabs basically they sell luxury spa products online she started a facebook page and i'm going to leave her link down below so if you click on the link down below you'll be able to go straight to her facebook page which tells you exactly what they sell how much the product is the range of colors and everything else and you'll be able to go through her to do all of that so they do a massive range of stuff including makeup skincare men's products slimming aid and weight loss aid they even do sculpting products such as body wraps and thermal creams um, which is really really good because i think that the only places you're going to get stuff like that is in a spa somewhere so if you can do it at home you're laughing this is the magazine that you get this has got all the products that they sell um, the prices shade ranges everything it tells you individually about every single product it tells you what's in the products and it tells you what's good and beneficial for your skin this is the look that i came up with today and i love the way it turned out i feel like it's an everyday look and yeah you'll see what i think into the video anyway so without further ado if you want to see how i got this look today using those products then you gotta keep watching okay so i'm going to start with this eye and lip contour concentrate so basically this says in the book that this has anti-aging benefits it is a weightless consistency and it soothes and renews eyes and lips contours marked with wrinkles puffiness and dark circles restoring smoother calmer more even and well-rested appearance now this sounds like something the product that i really really need the dark circles under my eyes are really starting to show so this works for me, I'm definitely going to be purchasing this one. And it is concentrated, so we're just going to put a tiny little bit on the end of my finger. I'm just going to put about that much on my finger. And then with my ring finger, I'm just going to dab it in underneath the eye. And remember, the skin underneath your eye is so thin. You shouldn't be pulling it and messing about with it. Now I can see a difference already. I don't know if you can see it's bright and it feels like it's lifted up my eye. I'm really impressed with that, really impressed. It's got no smell to it whatsoever. My face just feels really, really smooth. Next, we're going to be going in with a foundation primer. Now, this primer has really intrigued me. It basically says it's dramatic blur and reduce the appearance of pore in pores instantly. Now, I do have quite big pores, so this is going to be really good for me. It absorbs and controls excess oil for up to eight hours, prepping for a beautiful, smooth makeup application. This lightweight gel glides on effortlessly and immediately dries down to an invisible matte finish now that sounds like everything you need in a primer it blurs your pores dries straight away into a matte finish so your foundation is just going to glide on um so yeah this sounds really really good so i'm really excited to use this one so again i'm going to put a little bit on the on the end of my finger and it's just a, a clear gel consistency um, quite thick but at the same time it's quite runny so I'm not going to turn it over so again it's really really smooth got no smell that's really nice actually I feel like that's really like filled in my pores okay now the primer's dried i'm going to go in my foundation and the foundation i've got is just a little sample one however the foundations that you buy come in a tub like this and they are hd liquid foundations i'm going to read a little bit about it it basically says it's a double pigment coverage with acne biting ingredients with even more good for skin ingredients 
It's a HD foundation that works and plays as hard as you do, resisting against heat, humidity, water and sweat and it's perfect for all skin types. Now it says in here use with their foundation brush, however I don't have their foundation brush so I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and so I'm going to open this up. I'm not sure if this is the right colour for me but we're going to go ahead and have a look. So it just looks like this. So I'm just going to dab this all over my skin. Oh, it's got a nice smell. It smells really fresh. I think the colour's too light for me, but I can change that with bronzer. <laughs> But it says it's sweat resistant, which is really, really good because I've got oily skin and my foundation melts off me by the end of the day. It's definitely not full coverage. I would say it's me light to medium coverage. However, with that, with the products I've put underneath, I feel like I don't need to go in with any more because my skin looks really nice and healthy and that's just... The way that I like it to look. I feel like if I go in with a little bit more I might go a bit too cakey so I don't want to risk it so I'm going to leave it as it is. So next I'm going to go in with this concealer and the packaging again is so nice you've got a little window here to show you what colour the concealer is and the packaging again is blue it's got the Eiffel Tower and Acti Labs written on it. Um, the concealer basically says our trusty multitasking concealer works like magic hiding undesirable blemishes and imperfections. Curious formula enriched with multi-action skincare benefits, light diffusing technology that which will leave your complexion looking luminous and radiant and it's enriched with beeswax and vitamin E. Vitamin E for your skin is amazing so if this has got vitamin E in it then I'm all for it. So I'm going to just put a little bit of this underneath my eyes where I would normally put concealer. I feel like that foundation has just made my skin so light at the minute that I don't really want to put too much concealer on to make it even lighter. Can't wait to put my bronzer on because at the minute I feel like a ghost. But like I said, in that foundation, there's loads and loads and loads of different shades. So I'm obviously going to have to go back and get a different shade because, yeah, this foundation is definitely too light for me. I'm quite tanned at the minute. England at the minute is so, so sunny. We are literally in the middle of a heat wave. So yeah, I'm quite tanned at the minute. Very, very full coverage. Like you can see this has made me look even lighter now. I feel like I really need to go put my bronze on just to wake my face up a little bit. But this is very, very full coverage. You can see how much it's covered up my dark circles and just brightened any imperfections that I've got. So, yeah, I'm liking that. So I didn't pick up a powder. Um, they do do powders. They do translucent pressed powders. Um, but I didn't pick up one. So I'm going to go ahead and use my own powder to set underneath my eyes and then I'm going to be straight back. Right, okay, so I'm back. I've powdered just underneath my eyes and my T-zone area where I get oily and um, a little bit on my forehead where I, get, where I also get oily. I've got hair on my face. You know when you've got hair on your face and you just don't know where it is but you can feel it there. It's so annoying. Okay guys, so it's time to do my brows and as you know, I've not done my brows on camera before but I'm going to do it today. I am so in love with this little product. Look at it. This is the little brow wax that they offer. They do have a range of shades in these again. Mine's quite a dark brown and you just unscrew the lid like this and in the inside you've just got this little pull off tab and then you've got your product inside and yeah. I'm going to try and do my brows on camera guys, so don't laugh. It says it's a brow wax, it's an easy to use, long lasting answer to eyebrow perfection. It says combining the, the benefits of a powder, a pencil and a gel. The easy to use formula glides on effortlessly, filling gaps in your eyebrows whilst delivering natural hair like colour to enhance brows in an instant. 
so yeah it doesn't come with a brush or anything so I'm going to be using my own brush for this and I've just got this one that I picked up from Primark a little while ago so yeah wish me luck guys because I'm doing my brows on camera before it just feels like pomade that I use that I normally use so yeah let's just go for this it actually picks up quite a bit of product on the brush so I'm going to wipe a little bit off on my hand because I don't want to go in really heavy straight away what they say is true it does actually just glide on i felt like it was so easy to use and it was just grabbing hold of all my hairs and just giving it a really natural brow look which is what i always go and i feel like the color was right as well i feel like the color matches my hair so yeah i picked a really good one for that right i'm going to go in with that concealer again just to carve out my brow i always just draw a line with my concealer underneath my brows and then i'll go in with concealer brush just to blend that out now I'm going to use the rest of concealer just to conceal my eyes before we go into eyeshadow so I'm just going to put this on the rest of my eyes I feel like you don't need a lot of this concealer it's a very very thick consistency so you don't actually need a lot because a little bit goes a long way I blend that in use my beauty blender for eyeshadow now I've already done one off camera and I've just gone for a smoky look with just a bit of gold shimmer and I really like the way it turned out. It looks really, really nice. The eyeshadow palette looks like this and again, the packaging is just stunning, absolutely stunning. It says Acti Labs on it again with the Eiffel Tower and the dark metallic blue again and the colours are like this. You've got a lot of neutral colours, you've got a couple of matte shades and then the rest are shimmers and then you've got a matte black at the end. I'm going to start with this transitional colour here and I'm just going to put this all over my lid. So I'm going to start with that colour and just again put it all over the lid. Next I'm going to go in with this colour here which is a matte brown and I'm just going to put that into the crease. And this is actually the brush I'm using from the palette and the brush is so soft on your eyes, it is so nice, it's definitely worth picking up. So I'm just going to go in my crease in this colour here. Now I'm just going to use my Real Techniques blending brush and I'm just going to blend all that out. I'm going to go in with is this shimmery brown here. Um, and I'm just going to put that into my crease. So I'm just going to go in over the top of that. Just to darken it up a little bit. Just to make it a little bit brighter. Right, now we've done a crease colour and transition colour, I want to go in with my lid colour. And for the lid, I want to put some concealer on first. So I'm not doing a cut crease, but I am going to cover it first with a little bit of concealer. I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and just go in. And I'm actually, for my concealer crease, I'm actually using the bottom of that eyeshadow brush. Because I just think that's just a really good size for a cut crease. For the lid I use this gold colour here which is like a gold shimmer and I'll just swatch it for you because I was amazed. The colour is so pigmented, so pigmented, can you can you see just here, it's such a pretty gold, like rusty gold colour and it just really really stands out. I'm using the same brush, tap off the excess and go straight in. Can you see how pigmented that is? I've hardly touched any on the brush and I've even tapped it off. The consistency of these shadows are like butter. They just go on so, so nice and they're so pigmented. I'm absolutely in love. There's a fly in here. <laughs> it's gone out. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely in love with the pigment. The pigment is so, so nice. I'm really, really excited to keep using this palette. Right, going in with gel eyeliner pencil. Yep, I said it, it's a gel eyeliner pencil. So it's basically a gel in a pencil. Um, this basically says, 
It's soft enough to smudge and blend whilst you're designing your look, but once it's left to dry, it's there to stay. This is waterproof, smudge proof and life proof. goes on really really well again it just glides on I feel like you wouldn't be able to do a wing with this though so if you was just doing the liner on top of your lid then you'll get away with it but if you was doing a, a wing I think the pencil itself is too thick right now for lashes now I think I'm most excited about this one because if my lashes don't go right I feel like the rest of my makeup isn't right so I've got this mascara here and this is called the Skyscraper Mascara. And I've actually heard quite a lot of things about this mascara. It's meant to be buildable. So it's got like a false lash effect. And I'll read you what it says in the book. It says, a unique formula that improves the appearance of lash volume and length. And lashes, for lashes that never need to be faked. Gives your lashes some eyeful power. Play on words there. Extraordinary long lashes that last. This formula has a buildable fibre effect and stays on the lashes and off of you. So I, I guess that means that it's smudge proof as well. So that's hella good, looks like. So it's a little bit rounded and it's quite long. So I guess that's going to cover all your lashes, including like your inner lashes and outer lashes at the same time, which is really, really good. That's just one stroke and my lashes, they look so long already. So long, I didn't expect that to work so quickly. I'm gonna wait for that one to dry. So I'm gonna go and do this one, wait for that one to dry and then put another layer on. So I'll be right back. Okay. So again, do the same again. Wiggle the product onto the lashes and then just blink onto the brush definitely buildable definitely buildable but I can't believe lashes are really really separated as well which is really good because sometimes when you add more product they tend to just start clumping together but this isn't doing that can you see that that's just two coats, literally just two coats. I can't believe it. This is my new favorite mascara. I'm not lying to you guys. I'm not lying to you. So if you don't wear falsies and you don't want to wear falsies, get some of this, cause this is hella nice. I've got on my eyes now and I just want to go back into that palette with this color that I started with on my crease and just done underneath my eyes with that. Then I'm going to use that gel liner pencil again, just to, smoke out the edges the corners of my eyes they do do bronzers and they do do contour palettes so you can go ahead and have a look at those however i don't have any so i'm going to be using my own so i'm going to go off camera to do that quickly and then i'll be right back to do my cheeks and my lips and a little bit of highlight okay so i'm all bronzed up and i'm feeling a bit more like the rest of my skin not so pale not so ghost looking and the bronzer i've used today is my mac give me some I'm going to go and blush next and the blusher I've got is this palette here and it's just a little palette like this and again the packaging is just so nice it just says actor labs again so you get your four colors here you get a peach color pink color more of a neutral color and quite a light color for light skin tones now I'm more of a peachy color girl but I think I might go in with this one today whether you desire to achieve a hint of naturally radiant color or a believable year-round glow. Powder blush on innocently illuminates the skin. Its firm texture stays stable in the pan so you can brush it on for even lightweight coverage, which I like. I don't like, I don't like a blusher that is just too full on. Um, I like a nice natural looking blusher that just gives you a flush of colour to your cheeks. And this sounds like it's right down my street. That's really pretty, I really like that really really long. okay guys we're on to the next bit now and it is highlight and this probably is my most exciting bit i can't help it i love a good highlight so the highlight i picked up is this it's called the h highlight it says drop everything 
and this is a must-have product of the season. Get your glow on with this facial cream to sheen highlighter. Glide onto cheeks, brow bones, eyes, nose and chin. Basically onto any of your features that you want to highlight. It has a little brush in the top. And I suppose this brush is probably good for going underneath those brow bones, your inner corner, the tips of your nose maybe, and on the cupid's bow. Have a little brush like that and then you just open up the bottom part and it screws off and your highlight is in there. So I'm just going to swatch this for you guys. So it's a creamy consistency and after blend it in you can really see how it's going to hit the light. It comes in two colours. It comes in white to add a pearly shine or it comes in pink which is an antique rose based shimmer that adds a warm rosy glow and I've got mine in pink because I just think that my undertones white would just be too bright for me. A little bit underneath my brow. Wow! Yeah, that's really shimmery. Go in the inner of my eye. Cupid's bow. So I've put a bit on the back of my hand and I'm just going to swirl in my Real Techniques brush and just go over my cheeks and my chin and a little bit on my forehead just where the natural light would normally hit me. So I'm going to try that out. That's pretty. That is really, really pretty. I'm just pushing it into the skin where the light would normally hit me. I feel like it's drying a little bit on my hands. So the packaging itself isn't great to be able to put a brush in to be able to put it on your face. You would have to use that little tiny brush or the end of your finger. But I love the way it looks. It looks really, really pretty. It's really, it's got a real natural glow to it, which I really like. Last but not least, we are going for lips. And the lip color that I picked up is this lip crayon here. And I'm gonna read a little bit about it. It says, light diffusing pigments give your lips the multiple dimension finish to leave them looking full bodied and luminous. The moisturizing texture melts into your lips and lavishes them with radiant color whilst giving them a little extra love with wax and vitamin E. Now this sounds really, really nice and this is literally up my street because I would normally use a nude color like this. This comes in 18 shades. I'm not sure what color this one is. Um, however, like I said, it comes in 18 shades and it says silky, sexy shades. So they sound really, really good. Consistency is absolutely beautiful. Very, very creamy, silky consistency. Okay, so that is all the products that I'm gonna be using today. I actually loved the way that it turned out. My skin just feels so, so nice. I love the way the makeup glides on. I just can't say a bad word about it. I love it. The only thing I would change is the packaging for the highlight, but anything else, I haven't got a bad word to say about it and it's so affordable as well. About these products that I use today, then look in my description box down below. All of Katie's links will be in the description box down below. So click on those links and it'll take you straight to her Facebook webpage where you'll be able to purchase anything that I've used today. Um, yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video today, then please smash that thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed already, then smash that subscribe button. I love you guys all so much, as you know, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.